Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. Where? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't really understand what you're saying. They're saying that they saved you from drowning. It's the language of the old world. Why? That's a big pile of what? Whoa. Hey, Florence? Florence? Wake up! Uh, uh, thank God you're awake. You worry too much, miss. I'm alright. It doesn't seem like it. What happened? Oh, well, this capsule was advertised as a detox spell, right? Looks like the soap effects were off. Excuse me. Let me explain. <laughs> I'm not sorry to be back here. Mm. Sup well, Miss Island? Oracle. <laughs> we're so bored. Every book read. Every story over. Entertain us. Oracle looks me in the light. Embrace. Leaning their weight on me. Ah, get out of, get off me. Aw, so cool. I don't have time for this. I have to find Charlotte Wolfshire. <laughs> what will you do when you find her? Kill her? No, God, no. <laughs> Murder, cold-blooded homicide. Just admit it. She makes your blood boil, doesn't she? Got it? I'm nothing like her. How are you so sure? Duh, I didn't cause the massacre of the entire school. <laughs> oh, really? Maybe it's about time you did. Like I said, shut up. I'm not a murderer. I won't become one. <laughs> of course you aren't. After all, everyone in this world is free to make their choices. They want. You're provoking me, aren't you? Maybe. Still. The others here. Have it easy. They have fun. Yet you. Julia Kiljoy, as they say. Did it occur to you? That in the house. You're the odd one now. I. But since we're here now. You'll learn to have fun, too. I'm not falling for that provocation. Leave me alone, you ugly pest. Oh, that hurt. Why are you like this, we wonder? Is it peer pressure? Social stereotypes? Mental illnesses? Which is it? Or are you actually the only hopeful person in this world? You must be thinking, this place is in the lost cause. <laughs> Nothing is meaningless. We aren't worthless. <laughs> if everyone would do what I say, we'll crawl out of this bottomless pit. <laughs> I can make everything right if I just try. I can become everyone's savior. Oh. You're about to make it wake up soon. <laughs> You're running out of time, aren't you? I wake up in a severe coughing fit. <coughs> One of my eyes is a toy wrap. Eh? Morning. Uncle says that rabbit toys and the accessories cheer up the terminally ill patients. Well, it looks like it didn't work. Uh, no. Thank you. I'll cherish it. <coughs> Looks like your condition is getting worse. I just need to go to a new floor. Right, you do. I already arranged the trip for you. Still have business to finish here, so I'll, you'll be going with Bennett, old boy. The TV remote person? Yes, that guy. There he is. Hey, Miss Eiler, hi. Your hair is so red. Is that your natural color? Uh... 
Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. Bed. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey, so are we going? Are we going right now? And where are we going? I didn't tell him. For sure, I explained it in great detail. The soap side effects are really something else. Hey, you used to love it too. I was young back then. Yeah, the little Felix, the cute Felix that, that nearly died. <clears throat> but because of time trolling <laughs> reasons, we, we saved him. It all seemed young to me. I'll explain it again. You will be going to explore the ninth floor for traces of Charlotte Wilshire. I, the f ninth floor is infamous for its advanced civilization that turned their floor into a garbage dump. Advanced civilization! Garbage dump. Okay. That's why it's called landfill. Yay, garbage! So, are we going? Are we going right now? Yes, let's have a small breakfast and set out, shall we? And so we did. Breakfast. Delicious. So, Bennett, uh... Destination reached. Huh? There's also an open again. Try pressing the emergency button. Okay. I press the emergency button and the floor below us opens. Ah! We scream in unison. Ow, oh, that hurt. But the smell of smelly organic waste softened the fall. Thankfully, it wasn't the tech garbage pile next to it. Lucky. Well, time to revert to Mr. Honecker. Hey, Mr. Honecker. Mr. Honecker. Mr. Honecker. You don't need a shot like that. I can hear you. <laughs> so, did you arrive at the ninth floor? Yay. This place stinks. And now let's look at it on the ground. Find a way to get there. I. Oh. Wait. I think I'm missing something. What could it be? Uh. What well, is it? Uh, I think I lost Miss Eiler. What? But no worries, I'll find her in a moment. Oh god, you better. Engine system notch, the next to Scarlet lost and taking thanks to Bennett. With Bennett's old school worldview, you'll see the world in a new light. Um Mr. Honecker as Bennett. I think making Miss Eiler broke. What do you mean, broke? Is she alive? Oh, no, yes, I don't know. I think she hit her head on something when we fell out of the elevator. God damn it, Bennett, you had one shot. She's already infected with a parasite, and now there's a there's head trauma. I should have known better than to entrust my patients to a soap addict. Sorry. Ah, uh, fine, just take her to Wolfshire's whereabouts. You should be down below, so find a way to get there and I'll aid you if anything comes up. Got it, Mr. Honecker. Acquired Scarlet Idler as an item. Okay. Experience the greatest of joys. Take the challenge and descend to Eden. Seems fishy. I'll create descend to Eden, huh? Something is off about this. Okay, wait. Small, a bit heavy, still breathing. It's so dark in here. If I flash it with you, remember? Oh. The challenge began. Challenge, find the exit. Tip, you can use the items you will allow the pain in front of various objects. An item from the menu and interact with the object again. again. Uh, is this an escape room kind of thing? I'm never good at those. Deal with it. However, we don't have all day, so I'll help if you fall to use your brain. Let me know if you like the challenge is to do or you can ask. Help, just use Honeycapedia from your items. Why anyway. not solve the boss for you and sometimes you won't reply. But useful hints when the time is right, probably. I'll be back, okay?
Oh, there's a corpse in, in there. There's a secret passage. Hey, don't forget Miss Isla. Ah, you're right. Let's go. Acquired. Let's go, human maggot. How's it going? In some kind of a testing facility, I guess. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. This is the first time I've seen a room like this. What about Miss Isla? Still not that? Alright, keep going. No, Miss Sonic, it opened. So it was V19 after. Well done. <laughs> I'm so smart. I'm sorry, but I'm not that smart and... Yeah. Now let's see what it's... Uh, huh? What did you find? It's some kind of a charm. So boring. I thought there would be some silver head or something. It might contain us in bottom hand. Make sure to flip through it. Ooh, hmm. There's something written in red. Find date. Well, this wasn't really helpful. Might be a hand or a record. So, get to decoding. Shouldn't you be hopping? Your brains will turn into liquid soap if you don't try anything once in a while. You're a bully. Hell yeah. It open. See, you can do it if you try. <laughs> now I need to take Miss Allen along. Yay. Acquired Miss Isler. Let's go, Miss Isler. Don't stay alive. What? You have 30 minutes to prepare. Oh, it's like we're in a BB movie setting. Stay alive? What could possibly kill you in this place? Haha. <laughs> Let's find out. It's full of soda cans. Tables. So I'm ready for action. It's time to hide. Go. Sometimes three, two, one. I wonder who it was. It doesn't matter now. Yep. Doors open. Again, I'm not very smart. Oh. And that was the end of that. So. Please stop bumping into the elevator door like that. When you need to press this right there. Oh. I never was reading sweet. Looks like it can only go down. Have a happy descent then. Oh, Miss Alice's face is turning green. Try not to drop her along the way. Well, do. By that. Yes. Don't have much time we left either, do I? You know, I'm not that dumb. Maybe this is why I agreed to help Miss Isla in the first place. That's right, Mr. Honeke is so smart. Must have figured it all out a long time ago. Error must have looked like a whole bunch of idiots to you, right? Right? Enough. You don't need to apologize. Just promise me you'll make sure she gets to the 11th floor, okay? Who knows? Maybe there's heaven up there. I promise. Well then, time to descend. Into madness? Probably into madness. Definitely into madness. Oh, hello, Charlotte. Error. Bennett, report back immediately. A lot from the, the detection devices are going crazy. Bennett reporting back. We found her. But she's huge. That's a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch. What do you mean huge? Oh. You see anyone else around? Nope. Why? It's strange. My devices detect thousands of heat sources in this place. But where could they be coming from? I detect from my knowledge of uh, wisdom that all those heat sources are the huge Charlotte. Mmm, the commander does Charlotte. 
Maybe from inside of her? Are you saying that all the loving organisms on this floor reside inside of her body? That is not impossible. But why? Maybe this world was dying. So she became a shelter for them. That's what their Eden is. Sounds surprisingly smart sometimes. Although it must be simply because the soap effects are wearing off. So, considering that this floor is just one big dumpster on the surface, she sacrificed herself so that this floor's inhabitants would survive. That's something I could never imagine Charlotte Wolfshire, or Firefloor, either doing. Just look at her, she's smiling in her sleep. And it's not the crooked smile that our floor's Wolfshire's always said. <laughs> so true. Too bad, Miss Eiler, your Wilshire isn't here. This place again. And a good time for hey, to have a little break. So I'm back. And it seems also the guide that I used was only for, well, those puzzles. Everything else is now blind again. So, yeah. This place again. <laughs> Morning, Miss Eiler. How are you holding up? Want us to give you a soothing massage? It's because of you that I'm dying, you know. <laughs> <sighs> I have no energy for this. I'm tired, Oracle. I just want to find Wolfshire and get it over with. <laughs> we know, we know. Oracle comes close, close and gently takes my hairband off. <laughs> it's okay. You'll find her for sure. We're pretty sure she wants you to. So you can let your hair down for now. <laughs> By the way, didn't you have fun with Seth, Mr. Honecker and the others? <laughs> no, they're just tools for my mission, Scarlet Powder. Very funny. Ooh. You look good. It wasn't fun at all, but I learned that this world is bigger than I, I could have ever imagined. There are lots of, lot of things about it that I don't get yet understand. I want to learn more about it. Maybe I should start a journal for notes about the truth of this world. <laughs> so that you can make sense of the world around you. Make up rules to rationalize everything. This is why you can't have fun. That again. If you want us to shut up, Make us. Oracle, I need to rest. Stay quiet for a bit, will you? <laughs> of course, Miss Eiler. There'll be plenty of time for us to talk in the future. That's why you should rest well for now. Soon, all will end. And all will begin. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. My head hurts. I'm pretty sure I hit it on something. There doesn't seem to be any blood, however. Did Hanukkah patch me up? I need to thank him. Let's go, Seth. Oh. He's cute. Find Felix. Yep, it's locked. Good to know. Oh, no. Huh? He isn't here. Oh, Miss Hyder. Bennett, what are you doing here? Henry Sorders. Where's Felix? And who's in the body bag? Well, don't tell me, Miss Hyder. Like I said, I'm under Henry's orders. Do you understand? No, this, this can't be real. Why? Bennett grabs my hand. Let go! Ain't it terrifying for your face? You monster. Where are you taking me? Stop struggling. You're going to the elevators. You'll leave this place. And never come back. We are not your friends. Nor are we your lackeys. We like Sonic was a failed experiment. That's... All there was. 
Don't you feel the slightest remorse? You could have saved, saved him. Remorse? Could have saved? Say, Eiler. Just what do you know about me? And it forced me into the elevator and sends the 11th floor button. The door is closed behind him. There's an unreadable expression on his face. Let's tell him. <laughs> but still, a nice elevator, let me see. Classic. And also the reason why my, my, why, why my what on the archive channel got also copyright claimed. Because, hey, for some reason, someone decided, someone on YouTube decided, hey, this song, this is actually copyright claim, even though actually it is royal to free. So, ha huh? Destination reached. So, we're now at the top floor. And, uh... Data transition successful.